Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Sagittarius. I am literally starting your reading right as this song called Hallelujah starts to play. <laughs> this uh, this mix that I'm listening to, and that is no coincidence at all. Um, if you look at the cards here, dear Sagittarius, your sort of central energies are shadow work and gratitude, right? And, you know, this month we essentially continue along in this beautiful tragedy of ascension that is occurring for you, connected to the lunar nodes of fate and karma, sparking this huge spiritual awakening and psychological and emotional purge for you that is connected to your career and your life direction. And, you know, ultimately you are sort of daily habits, you know, where the divine is asking you to surrender to the deep shadow work and connect to gratitude for the divine wisdom to be gained, right? Because ultimately the purpose of this is for it to translate into a sustained gratitude and spiritual practice that will ultimately lead you toward this hidden path of more aligned opportunity and higher purpose, right? And your message is short and sweet in that way because, again, this has been happening for you for uh, maybe the last few months and um, it is sort of coming, It's it's been happening in particular within these last few months as we come to the sort of end of the sort of eclipse energies uh, where they have been in your 12th house and your 6th house. And the 12th house is all about spirituality, is all about uh, higher knowledge and uh, spiritual practice and, you know, that needing to be a part of your daily life and, you know, connected to your career. After all, Sagittarius, you are ruled by the planet Jupiter, right? Um, and that planet is in your house of career, quite literally in opposition to the uh, lunar note that has been in your 12th house of like psychology, shadow work, awakening experiences, um, deep loss, all of these things, right? And it's like the universe is kind of like trying to dump out all the junk. <laughs> it's like trying to trying to dump out like all of the junk and 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 like um sort of touch all of your deepest fear so that you can face them so that you can like ascend like in alignment with the divine timing of like the cosmic um the cosmic like uh activity that's happening right now that is in many ways really really um activating the entire collective right now this sort of like quickening of ascension right just trying to wake everybody up to try to get them to ascend and align to their right path right which is a higher path connected to a higher purpose right those who are light workers here right so Again, that is why your message is really short and sweet. Um, and it really just focuses on the fact that, you know, um, the main thing for you to understand right now uh, is that things will get better. <laughs> it will get better. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. It will get better, right? It will get better. But there's really nothing you can do in the meantime to kind of like speed anything up except for surrender, right? To to be, right? To be in the daily, like on the daily, like to be present. Um, if you look at the cards here, right? The challenge for you that is illuminated is divine wisdom, right? And the three of swords in reverse, right? Overcoming heartbreak and um, kind of, I think, surrendering to what all of this sort of change means for you. Like the the sort of like, 
yes, we can talk about it in these sort of like esoteric ways of what it means to surrender, but on the practical and material level of life, like what it means to let go of any attachments is is what it is that you have to contend with right now, right? And that is what this 10 of wands card here is about. And uh, the justice card here, which is connected to the fact that the lunar nodes are gonna finally be moving um, into your houses of, let me remember, your houses of, your social houses, right? Your social houses and your houses of creativity. And in many ways, these houses that are about how you connect to the world, right? And so that is kind of what this face <laughs> of it is about, right? You uh, letting go of attachments, guilt or regret from relationships, jobs or particular contracts or a particular way of living kind of coming to an end, right? As Jupiter is in your house of work and daily routines, um, sort of asking you to consider how your daily life and your work can be more infused with the sacred, right? And with a higher purpose. Um, and, you know, the justice card is, again, connected to the south node of karma moving into Libra, which is the sign of love and commitment. And, you know, it just really indicating that the karmic contracts from the past had to come to a close, right? And as it moves into your 11th house of social groups, uh, social media, astrology, and your ideologies, right? It is about you perhaps right now, um, as you are still in this process, trying to contend with what that means for your social life, what that means for your relational life, right? And I think in some ways, the with this two of cups being in reverse, um, I think in many ways, the divine is asking you not to focus so much on that aspect of this transformation that you're going through, right? Um, because you need to continue to be present in this internal process that is happening for you, right? If you look at this card, we have the unhappiness card right here, and we have the gratitude and the shadow work and the divine wisdom cards and the magician in reverse, and also this many paths card here as the sort of spiritual lesson, right? It's like you need to be present in the sort of internal, spiritual, psychological, ideological transformation that um, you're being asked to sort of like surrender to and be present for, right? Um, because like I said, that is what will ultimately lead you toward this hidden path of aligned opportunity that is connected to a higher purpose, right? And your growth. So this unhappiness card reads, it says, unhappiness is frequently the result of an inability to live in alignment with the calling of our soul. And when this happens, our uneasy and challenging emotions are an indication that we need to listen to ourselves. This card asks you to have faith and to trust. Get still, meditate, listen to the voice of your heart, and open yourself to receive guidance okay all right that is that is really that's really it that's really it and so i'm going to wrap up your reading by reading the mini paths card for you and then also your angel number message that came through all right and then also want to say definitely take a look at your uh 2023 timeless tarot reading that is here on the channel in addition to your venus in a uh, leo reading your eclipse season readings because they are absolutely connected to all of this as well because they are about the sort of higher wisdom and the spiritual guidance related to the impacts of the lunar nodes um shifting <laughs> and shifting our lives okay so the angel number message that came through for you sagittarius is the number 533 so five relates to release and surrender freedom 
progress and motivation, versatility and adaptability, courage and making positive life choices. Number five is the number of taking chances and making major life changes. Three is related to creativity, personal charisma, community and sociability, expansion and growth, joy and optimism, manifestation, self-expression, and it relates to the energies of the ascendant masters, right? 33 is an ascendant master number about wise teachers, wise teachings, inner wisdom, right? So angel number 533. 33 is a powerful indication of important life changes occurring and continuing to occur, about to occur, right? And these changes have come about due to your positive attitude and intentions to better your life on all levels. These changes may initially seem challenging, but rest assured that they are necessary and will prove to be most beneficial in the long term. Your prayers and positive affirmations have manifested your desire changes and better is now on its way into your life. Trust your intuition and inner wisdom and allow your angels and the ascended masters, your spirit team, your ancestors to aid, assist, and support you through these transitions. Absolutely. 533 says to rely upon your communication skills, creative talents, and natural adaptability abilities and allow yourself to keep an open mind and heart as to the changes currently taking place in your life. Trust that your highest ideals and desires may manifest as a result. Angel number 533 suggests that you are receiving divine guidance from the angels and the ascendant masters in your spirit team as to your upcoming life changes. Know that these changes will be of long-term benefit to you and are in alignment with your soul mission. Call upon the angels to guide and assist you and assist and inspire humanity via your natural light working abilities and be an inspirational guiding light. Absolutely. All right. With your ruling planet, Jupiter, being in the sign of Taurus, which is the 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 sign that is connected to being this bridge between, you know, the spiritual realm and the earthly realm and and healing and uplifting the community, right? It's like there there's no way <laughs> to avoid what is happening right now like it is cosmically ordained and like the angel number says in many ways you've been dissatisfied with what the quality of your daily life has felt like and even dismayed with the state of the world and so some of the things that are happening in your life right now um even as you have been you know, continuously like coming into contact with great new opportunities and things like that, that have been wonderful, that have been affirming, right, of your hard work and of your sort of beliefs in something greater. It's like, it wasn't, it wasn't all the way it, right? It wasn't all the way it. If you look at this card here, the eight of pentacles that came out here related to the past this is about this message that your line of work doesn't lead to this rainbow that's here right it doesn't lead to this rainbow it doesn't and it wouldn't lead you to uncover you know higher knowledge um that could truly truly um bring about this sort of like greater sort of fulfillment and sense of satisfaction in terms of like you wanting to believe in the, uh, like you having faith in humanity, right? You having a greater faith in humanity in some way, right? And, And being a part of that. So the other sort of overall message that I got for you all was to revisit your why, Revisit your why to uncover a higher wish and to find bliss while you're in the midst, (laughs) you know, this transition, okay? So I'm going to read the mini paths card for you. It says, all paths lead to spirit. 
What you bring to your journey is what will determine if yours is a path of suffering, a path of wisdom, a path of bliss, or a path of loss. Consider the traveler who met two stone masons. He asks one what he is doing, and the mason replies, I am squaring out this stone. He asks the others who are doing the exact same thing and gets the reply, I am building a cathedral. So one man has a job. The other man has found his work and calling. He is part of an endeavor much greater than himself. And so this says, be sure to pick a path with a heart. Okay. And it says, your call now is to take a big, bold step and leave the beaten path. Heaven and earth are conspiring on your behalf to support you in this move. Do not dally and miss the moment. It's time to sail into the uncharted. Be sure you attend to both your path through this earth as well as your journey through the stars. All right, dear Sagittarius. So take good care of yourselves. And uh, yeah, check out all of the remaining readings here. I hope that these messages are an aid on your journey. Take good care.